So we're increasingly recognising that COVID-19 is not a condition simply of the lung. In fact, it's those patients that are most severely affected who are the ones who've got brain complications from the virus. So it can cause a wide variety of symptoms uh, from sort of pure neurological symptoms such as walking, moving problems and sensory problems uh, through to uh, memory and other cognitive problems uh, and also frank psychiatric symptoms such as uh, mood disorders, psychosis and this can be due to a wide variety of mechanisms. Critically, Clinicians and scientists do not understand what's driving these brain complications. To what extent is it viral infection within the brain, or an excessive immune response attacking the brain, or some other form of brain injury. And without understanding this, we simply do not know how best to treat these patients. The COVID Clinical Neurosciences Study, or COVID-CNS, is a study that aims to understand the effect of COVID-19 infection on the brain. Why some people develop neurological and neuropsychiatric complications, and some do not. It's a collaboration across all four UK nations. Clinical neurologists and psychiatrists are working with scientists in the field of genetics, neuroimaging and immunology in COVID-CNS. We want to recruit people who've had a neurological or neuropsychiatric complication while in hospital with COVID-19. We want to compare them to people who've been admitted to hospital with COVID-19 who did not experience these complications. It's a UK-wide study that's going to be recruiting many hundreds of patients with neurological and psychiatric complications of the, of the virus. Uh, we're then going to get full clinical details about how the disorder manifested itself and try and get further details about more subtle complications that might be present. Firstly, we'll look back at their clinical records and their brain imaging at the time they were unwell, obtain any retained blood or spinal fluid samples that might already be in the laboratory, to understand the inflammatory response and the immune response at the time they became acutely unwell. Hi, morning, come on in. Secondly, once they've been discharged from hospital, we'll invite them to a face-to-face -face appointment to assess their cognitive function and their neurological symptoms and signs, how they're doing from a psychiatric and mental health point of view. At that time, a proportion of patients will have a blood sample so we can look at their genetics and their brain injury markers and also a brain scan so we can correlate what's happening peripherally with what's happening in the brain. And finally, we'll invite these patients to be followed up online on three occasions over the subsequent year to assess what are the longer term impacts of this. We're really hoping that the study is going to be able to reduce these neurological complications of COVID-19 for these patients. So, if you're a patient who's been hospitalised with COVID-19 and suffered brain complications at that time, or you're a clinician or scientist, or you'd just like to find out more, either email us or visit our website.